Hi friends, this is Carissa and welcome back to my YouTube channel Inky Fairy Designs. Today I am so excited for this project to share with you today. I've uh, been asked by Sean Petit um, along with uh, 10 or 11 other past creative team members to join her in a special haul today and we are featuring one stencil 12 different ways. So there's 12 of us 12 videos of inspiration for you guys today and I just cannot wait to see all of the different ways this one stencil is being used. Now the stencil that I'm using right now is not the one stencil that we're all going to be using but I just had to pull out this one because I love fall and this stencil called Fall Words 1 from last year's release was one of my favorites and it didn't get nearly enough use as I wanted it to. So just to create a bit of texture and background and all of those beautiful glorious words that remind me of fall, I'm just inking them onto this background that I totally forgot to film but um, it really gets covered up in the end so it's no, no problem at all. What I did was I used some Neo 2 pencils or crayons and created just kind of a little bit of a watery background of color, but you'll see that I cover that up um, here in a bit. So the one stencil that we are all using, you'll see in a little bit, I'll pull it out. Um, it is the Fall Leaves with Masks, and I just got to say I love stencils that come with masks. Okay, so I'll show you how they how I use that in a bit. Um, here I am just adding some paint that kind of matches those colors that I used, um, the neo color uh, crayons that I used originally in the background that I really wasn't happy with. I actually did that background, and then I had to step away for a couple of days because I didn't like it. I haven't created an art journal page in weeks if not months. I'm sure you've noticed my channel has been a little bit quiet lately and um, yeah so I'm so excited when Sean Petit, when I got that email from Sean Petit I think I was on the road and or no I was in the middle of moving and packing and stuff and I said yes 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 please count me in. So this is the fall leaves um, with masks that I just pulled out and I did a little of um, like removing of the paint with a baby wipe just to add a little bit more texture kind of um, add those words see a little bit of those words coming through the paint and all of that and now I'm using the masks and this is why I love stencils that come with the masks and a lot of Sean Petit stencils do and that makes them some of my favorites to pull out but there's just so it just makes um, a set so versatile um, because you can use it as a traditional stencil stenciling through with paint ink even journaling through a stencil is really fun but you can also pull out these masks and what I did was you know that background was still quite a bit busy and I still wasn't quite happy with it. In fact, I was sitting at my desk after having created that crazy background and I was staring at the wall thinking, what the heck am I doing? What, what was I thinking? And my husband came in and he's, he just like put his hand on my shoulder and said, you're going to figure it out, you know? And he gave me a couple of ideas like, um, in the end, you'll see a stencil with a little bit of gold paint, and I just love that. He was so encouraging, and, you know, I was like, okay, yes, I, what do I always say here? And when I'm teaching or um, sharing what I do, I always say you have to push past the ugly, and this is what I'm doing at this point. So I um, used a little bit of um, some, some scrapbook tape to just place my masks on the page, and um, so they wouldn't move while I am adding paint over the top. So now I am blocking out the rest of the background from the, the masks. And I love this technique. I have used this technique many, many times in my art journals when um, a page gets a little out of hand from me because you'll see um, just because a page looks so busy doesn't mean that you can highlight um, certain areas of it and by giving it um, spotlighting it or whatever it really brings it out and it makes it beautiful 
So it looks crazy and you think, oh my gosh, she's covering all of that up. But remember, I am not covering up where the masks are. Where the masks are, you're still going to see that color. And against the blue, I think that's where the magic comes in. Against the blue, it is just going to pop. And what I love about fall, one of the things I love is going to see um, the foliage and the colors and the change. And I always, for whatever reason, I feel like in October, especially, the skies are just a tad bit more blue. They're just a bit brighter in October. And I love that. That's one of my favorite things about fall. And so doing this, that's why I did the blue background. Um, I, I painted over that with the blue because it just really makes everything else pop. You can see the masks. I removed them and now they look like beautiful fall leaves that have changed into all of these glorious colors. And I'm just so, so happy with where it's going at this point. So of course I'm going to pull out my Stabilo Marks All Black pencil and I'm going to just trace around all of them. Doesn't matter if it's perfect, it's going to be sketchy and imperfect and that is the beauty of art journaling and really of art playing and really just kind of immersing yourself in the process which is what I missed most about my time away and about being away from my supplies because they were packed up and everything. So now I have a small bit of supplies out and I hope to do more videos. I am hopefully, we'll see, we'll see how that goes. But um, I'm going to go ahead and activate this um, Stabilo Marksall and you'll see that it just continues to pop out those leaves, those shapes that I created using the masks and um, it pops it out from that blue background. So a little bit more about the hop. I don't want to let this whole video go by without telling you. Um, you can see the full list in the YouTube description of all of the amazing artists that are participating. There are 12 of us today. And there's a giveaway because Sean Petit is so sweet and so generous. And really, we just want to inspire you. And um, if you've been in a rut or if you haven't felt creative lately, um, I can relate to that. And I can tell you, just pull out a journal, um, grab some paint, a stencil or two, and just play. And I promise you, no matter where you are or what you're going through, um, you will find some relief and you'll find some peace in that process. Even if it feels like a struggle at first, I promise, because sometimes I have been in that exact place. So for the giveaway, it's for U.S. residents only. So I apologize to all of my wonderful international followers. Um, but this is for U.S. residents only, and all you have to do is leave a comment in the in the descript or in the comments of each YouTube video, and um, just let us know what you think of the hop. Um, for mine, um, if you would let me know what you would like to see in upcoming videos, that would help me tremendously to try to focus and provide some additional content for you guys here for the rest of the year. Um, and then you are, you can leave your comments, uh, all the way until October 29th. So that's when the cutoff will be for comments and Sean Petit will be announcing the winners on Friday, October 30th. So, um, check out Sean Petit's Instagram, blog, YouTube, all of that so that you can find out, um, all of the winners. And because there's 12 of us, there's going to be 12 winners. So that is amazing. You can check out, um, all of the details in the description box, along with the products that I am using today, the stencils that I am using today. And, uh, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, that'll be there too. So here's the gold. I am pulled out the gilt uh, paint from Dina Wakely, which is my absolute favorite metallic. Although I'm kind of leaning towards um, some of the uh, medieval. I like that one in the spray. It's very, very cool. 
So I did a little bit of kind of an ombre look there using the cheddar, which I hardly ever use, but it looked great on this page. And now I'm pulling out that spray and gilt and just kind of adding some splatters on the page. And um, I'm really happy with where it turned out. I forgot to say that I am working in the Black Dina Wakely Media Journal. One of these days, I will finish it. I've had it for like three years. <laughs> One of these days, I will finish it. And um, this is actually working on the canvas page, the canvas substrate of this journal, which I know a lot of people have a hard time working on it. It does shrink whether you put gesso on it or um, work on it unprimed. Any paint medium you put on it is going to make it shrink, so it loses about uh, maybe a half an inch, three quarters of an inch. You can see the other page behind it sticking out, but that really doesn't bother me. Um, it's a fun texture to work on, and um, so I'm just... Uh, after stenciling the words, I went over it with my Stabilo Marksol again to make it stand out a little bit more. And then I'm activating that black again to make that uh, black really pop. And then the next thing and the final thing that I will do is I'll pull out uh, my Posca white paint pen and I will add a bit of highlight. Now I first went in and thought I was just going to highlight a little bit of the words, but then as I got more into it, <laughs> I started just kind of um, really outlining the words and adding a bit of fun texture to it. And so I went back to the hello and realized it's kind of like faux calligraphy, so I continued to add that throughout. And I really love the way that that works, um, or that looks. It just really added, um, made those words really stand out from the page. And now I'm just kind of going around it with my white paint pen and adding a little bit of more paint marks and texture. But yeah, I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, I, it was a process, and I hope you can... Uh, appreciate that process and maybe in your own process when you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like oh my gosh this is just a huge big mess um, you know keep working push past it try doing this blocking technique where you just kind of um, block off the majority of the background but leave some of that beautiful um, mess behind it because it is beautiful and um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you aren't already a subscriber, please think about subscribing to my channel. If you are, I appreciate you so much for sticking around. And I will do my best to provide some more interesting, at least inspiring content for the rest of the year. And be sure to check out the rest of the artists on this top. You can go ahead and check out the next one in line below me um, in the comments. And um, there will be, I will create a playlist as well that you can check out. I'll put it right here for you. You can just click on that and go through the entire hop. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.